hey what's up guys good morning um this is my what i eat in a day so we shall see what's up for wednesday um i always start my mornings off with the acv water um well acv and water and lemon and cayenne pepper that's usually how i start my morning every morning <laughs> religiously so what's next Oh yeah, this is just an overview of what I eat in a day. Um, I just wanted you guys to get an idea. This is my fitness pal. If you haven't added me, definitely add me. Yellow underscore China. And shout out to my girl Momo for adding me. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, that's what I'm eating for lunch. And we're going to go over this again. I'll show you pictures as I eat. But I just wanted to give you an overview of my macros and whatnot. And I try to focus on protein. It's really important because it keeps me satiated, keeps me full in my micronutrients when it comes to kale, greens, veggies. I eat a lot of veggies and I have a little treat here and there. You saw some of my snacks that I enjoy and I haven't exercised yet. So that's why nothing's there. And again, an overview, a pie overview of my macros where my carbs and my fats and my protein is coming from and I try to focus on sodium because salt holds a lot of water so I try to keep it at 1200 to 1500 range okay guys so this is my ACV that I take every morning faithfully it's usually two tablespoons of ACV apple cider vinegar rags I've been using recently and cayenne pepper about one-fourth and one fourth a teaspoon to be exact and like a couple of drops of lemon juice and it's been working for me at first it was kind of hard getting used to but now it's just nothing but a thing and i also gobble down some water after that and i enjoy taking this every morning it wakes me up gets me ready to go to do what i need to do kill killer workouts and that's usually how i start my day and I usually stock it up as well just to make sure I have enough for the week and the next week. So, yeah, that's ACV life. Okay, guys. Hey, what's up? Um, the camera's over here, but I'm going to be looking all around because I'm not used to the camera being there. But basically, I just finished my workout. It was really intense. And, yeah. I got a good workout in. I keep looking over here. I don't know why, but yeah, I got a good workout in. Um, I did some cardio. I also did squats and I did abs and I did leg work today. Definitely legs. Um, I use my weights when I do that type of stuff. I use my weights all the time regardless. Tomorrow's going to be an arm day, but I finished my fast. It was like 16 hours and 30 minutes, so... I'm going to get ready to make breakfast because I need it. I need that fuel after that intense, intense, intense workout. I really had to dig in my reserves to push myself to finish it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get ready to make breakfast, get to that, and start this what I ate today. I am kind of hungry. And, yeah, I showed you earlier how sweaty I was and how many calories I burnt. I usually aim for 300 to 500 usually it's three or four hundred at the max um yeah and I think I stopped eating at four today because that's when I start my fast again and you can see my headphones my sister gave me I have tape here because like this part was falling off but I'm not going to throw them away I'm going to keep them because I like them because they're wireless but let's just get to this what I ate today for Wednesday and it's snowing right now well it was yeah, it's okay. So it's breakfast time. The washer's going in the back, so just ignore that. I do not feel like waiting for that thing to finish. Um, this is my Annie's organic cereal. It's like basically it's flavored and colored naturally with fruit, so that's really dope. And almond milk. And Walmart brand almond milk and it tastes really really good you don't need to add any sugar to it it's awesome and then I well I had to load up on a couple of carbs 
And then I got this berry blend um, by Just by Julie. Um, it's basically a smoothie. I think it has like coconut, agave, blueberry, um, banana, and strawberry. And I just love when I don't have to make a smoothie. And it's pretty clean. I like the ingredients. It's really clean. Basic stuff. And the calories are decent. 110 calories. That's not bad. Um, about 85 sodium, 14 grams of sugar. So I'm rocking with this. This looks pretty dope. And um, I'm definitely going to let you guys know how it tastes. This movie is just right. And this is a picture of my breakfast. Um, yeah, this movie tastes just right. Not overpoweringly sweet. It's just right. It has only five ingredients. So I got it from Walmart. You guys definitely look for it and check it out. It's really, really good. So I'm currently cooking lunch. Um, it's just a little stew that I threw everything together. Some of my pre-cooked chicken breasts with probably two servings of tuna, some mixed veggies, and some brown rice with some nutritional yeast. And it, t it tastes pretty good so far. So we shall see what it tastes like when it's finished. Okay, hey guys, what's up? So this is my Luna Bar. It's flavored lemon zest. It's 8 grams of protein, non-GMO. And it's super delicious. Like, I eat these, like, I try, like, I guess about three times a week sometimes. It depends how I feel. But I just love the lemon flavor. I always get that flavor. And the white macadamia is really good, too. But um, I want to show you the macros on the back of this bar as well. Six fats, about 26 carbs, a little dense of carb, nine sugar. Mm, yeah, some people would say, you know, it's very carby, but it, like I said, I treat these bars as a treat. I don't treat them as like, oh, it's my protein bar. Oh, no, 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 honey. I just treat this as a treat, like my Halo Top is a treat. My Triscuits, it's, it's a snack. It's a in-between with the Triscuits that I eat, but the Luna Bar, I don't make it an everyday thing. So it's been a few days since I ate one of these. But I just absolutely positively love them. If you're a local Walmart grocery shop sells them, you should really, really make your business and check it out because they are super delicious. Uh, also, I'm about to show you guys what it looks like unwrapped. It's just got this nice layer of lemon icing. Then you can just see the doughiness. And ugh, for all my carb lovers, you're going to love this bar. Like this bar is going to hit the spot and you're going to feel so good. But the soup is still cooking. Okay guys, so finally the soup is finished and it is so, so good and tasty. I already took a sip or a bite and um, I have, I already told you what was in it. It's just, I have it laid out here on a plate. Actually, my back is kind of hurting like a little bit for my workout, I guess, but anywho, I'm going to devour this. Um, I definitely carved up because I definitely need some carbs. Like, I feel like I don't have enough carbs in my system. So I decided to have one fourth a cup of brown rice to this just to give it some mm because I like my food to have mm. And it's definitely protein packed with the tuna and the chicken because I need to hit my protein goals for today. Um, it's just absolutely delicious. Got my veggies in there. I used the veggie blend that I bought from Walmart to add to the soup because sometimes I just get in those type of moods where I just want a good old fashioned soup, especially when it's kind of cold today. It's like 19 degrees. But I will see you guys for dinner and dessert. Okay, guys. So I'm letting this thaw right now. But this is basically the halo top. I love it. Pistachio is my favorite so far. I haven't tried any others yet. But I'll let you know how that goes. Um, yeah. And I already had some of it. It's just a little bit that's left in here I'm going to eat today. And then we'll be moving on to cookies and cream. <laughs> or vanilla bean, whichever I choose. But it's all natural, light ice cream, one pint. And it's 240 calories. Um, yeah, this is actually a dessert treat. But since I stopped fasting at four-ish, I'm just going to eat it now, you know. And good source of protein. And this is a really good flavor. It doesn't taste any way the way it looks. By the way, half a cup is 60 calories. You got two fat, five sugars, 13 carbs, and five proteins. So, yeah. And it's made with dairy in here, but I'm going to try to look for the vegan kind. But until then, I'll be eating this because I like the way it tastes. 
Uh, let me show you the inside before I gobble it down. I'm actually letting it thaw a little bit because it was in the back of the freezer. Stop when you hit the bottom. I did not do that last time. I actually stopped when it hit the middle. But that's about how much is left. I'm letting it thaw. It, it just smells like milk to me. I don't know. Maybe because I don't eat dairy like that. But it tastes really good too. So I'm just going to let that thaw here. And that's pretty much it guys. That's my dessert. And then I'll see you guys. Yeah, I'll see you guys at dinner. Okay guys, so this is my dinner. And it is topped with mustard because I love mustard it is basically some baked chicken that I seasoned myself um previously a few days ago and a sweet potato with some kale and some cabbage and some olives that I desalted and this is my go-to meal I love having this for lunch or dinner so I didn't have it for lunch so now I'm having it for dinner and this is what I'm going to finish what I ate in a day so I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week for my next What I Ate in a Day.